Drive on lug nuts. Okay. Over the lips, through the gums. Looking for 47 green flags until we go live on three different streaming platforms. Like now. Ah, the future. The future Uh, is now, just like the beginning of this podcast. Welcome, gang, to number 261 in the Perjangers and Wallhangers Media Network. This is Lug Nuts. Welcome, gearheads. This week, GM gets fixed. The NSX breaks a record. Just one. Alpha goes junior. Stop, Mitsubishi. Lambo, unlike before. And Nissan's award. Play on my tiny. Drive on lug nut. Drive on lug nuts right over here to pjandwh.com where you're going to find all the crazy luggy and nutty moments right up top. Like uh, our discussion about PETA's... Uh, Discrepancies, discrepancies on digital cock right up top. Okay. As well as last week's Triforce podcast, Mortal Cockbat Hollow Deck Breaker. But you'll also find Wall Janger Gaming right over here at the second tab where you're going to find Big Brother streaming Monday to Friday, three to about five ish. Sort of. Uh, sort when of. work and migraines let me. Of course. But maybe thinking about picking a new game? I, I finished the last one, so I'm going to have to pick something else. Which is the hardest part of all for me to make yeah. up my own mind. I may try Star Citizen, but I may still be stuck in the bed of the uh, yeah. Constellation. I tried you to never do, know. With that I tried game. to do con- concierge stuff and get them to like, uh, Hello, I'm here, and I need help. But they're not really good at that, in, according to how I've been treated in the past. They're not like Tappy. So. Tappy <laughs> reached right out, worked with the old man on working out our issues, and now we are very, very happy with the Tappy. And we want everybody to get their business cards with the Tappy, too. And you may or may not be happy with this first story. Oh, no. Because it may be in your rearview mirror. The Michigan Ooh. State Police are working on testing. They've just released the preliminary test for the Ford Interceptor. EcoBoost police vehicle. Okay. They're doing the testing for the entire country over at the Gritham sure. Raceway in southwestern Michigan. Granton? Sure. Granton. There was no there was no H. No? No. Okay. Well extra H for flavor. Sure. Tests include top speed, acceleration, distance, braking, lap times, and it'll help all departments in all 50 states. The 2022 Ford Interceptor FPIU has 400 horsepower, twin turbo, 3 liter V6, 0 to 65.5 seconds to 113, top speed 148, 0.6 seconds quicker than the Dodge. Okay. Making it the quickest out of the three tested. They also tested the V8 Charger. It hits a top speed of 139 miles an hour with the shortest top speed time of any vehicle tested. And they also tested the new Mach-E, which is, it's a Mach-E with lights. And a prototype? Yeah. 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 It's the prototype vehicle, and they put some lights on a uh, regular Ford Mach-E and called it done well you know i mean everything can't be elon and private issue it's sometimes it's government issue okay that's that's nice but you know what else is nice problems that get fixed after a long period of time huh that sounds like a like a dream or a season not a seasonal event anyway 
You know what's good? Problems that get fixed after a long time. Here on the screen, we have a picture of one of the results of the bolt fires. Chevy says they're ready to get cracking on this bolt issue. They're going to start fixing it. All right. They're going to prioritize fixing the uh, massive amount of Chevy bolts that had problems before they work on a new one. They're going to iron out all the problems before they release a new one. So there may never be another bolt again. Well, I mean, that's a little bit pessimistic. A bit? Yeah. A well, bit. You know. I mean, um, imagine that all those engineers are just like, No, we're fucked! We're Thir fucked! 13 bolts have caught fire. There yeah. have been injuries. That's not bad. Look at Toyota. Like minor smoke inhalation. And, and burns. There have been burns. So we have that. It'll affect 17 to 19, the battery models. Uh, essentially, an enhanced battery pack is what they're going to... Uh, repair. You'll get an eight year, 100,000 mile warranty and a new battery pack. Eight year, 100,000. I mean, it's a plausible no, from 17 to time. 19. So if you got a 17 <sighs> that hasn't caught fire yet, I think you're really lucking out. I mean, I guess it depends on the upgrades that happened in between. Between that seventeen nineteen to the other bolts, you know what I mean. What are the what are the bolts that were catching fire? Was it more prominently old ones or the what, ones, were yeah. the new ones seventeen to nineteen? So the new ones, you know, you have that standard eight month or eight year hundred thousand mile. Mm -hmm. You're pretty good. Well, it's not it, really eight know? years hundred thousand miles isn't really standard. I think they go for less. But twenty twenty models will get a software update. Oh. Okay, that 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 sounds less. It's a little something. You tell me the drivers aren't important now when they're releasing a software update to re fix that. I guess not. I guess not. But you know what? <laughs> you gotta update your drivers, man. Well, lots of people have been selling their bolts off, so this probably isn't yeah, that big whatever. a problem for people who don't have bolts. Yeah, you don't care if you don't have a bolt. It's not your problem, but. With the next story, you might be interested in how Honda broke 300. Here they are in all their glory. I don't know what's on the video. I picked it for the picture. Here they are in all their glory. Honda has told the world what they're going to do for the largest car market in the world. By 2030, they're going to go all electric in China. Here are some of the models. They said they will release five in the next five years. They will be releasing concept cars. Here they released uh, below. There should be a picture of the two, actually one vehicle that they're releasing. I'll explain. Huh. This is the E. NS1 and the ENP1. They're essentially the same vehicle. They're just the same thing built in two different factories. So they have that going for them. Huh. They're just calling it different. It's like, you know, Subaru and Toyota calling it something different, being the same thing, except this is by the same company. It, they just changed a letter. Yes, because for the factory. Is the same paint job available on each, or is uh, that let's, paint job the uh, only one? Sure, why not? I, have, I didn't... Look that deeply into it. I'm but just saying, like, if, if, if that, that paint job is the S because it's sporty. That could be that with their joint partner on this one, Dongfeng. <clears throat> Excuse me? Dongfeng? Are you? Dongfeng and Hein Honda. Dongfeng and Honda are getting together for this project in China because if you're going to do something in China, you need a Chinese government partner. I there imagine. you go. I don't actually know. I don't do business in China. I meant Yet. To health. I stay in this country. Yet. Yes. It was shown at the Shanghai 2021 Auto Show. Leading the auto show inside, it has a 15.2 and a 10.25 di display. The Honda ENS1 features front mounted electrical motors, 150 kilowatts 201 horsepower top speed of 93 power 
pack underneath 68.6 kilowatt hours of battery for 310 miles an hour. Or, I mean, miles. Not in one hour. Oh. That would be really impressive. Yeah. You get a 300 mile shit. range on that one. In, it looks in one hour. It looks like a crossover. Yeah. Gives you a little bit more space, you know. You might need it. Well, if you're in China, you might be in the market for that, or you might be interested in what happened in Long Beach. Recently, in Long Beach, the NSX broke a record. The NSX Type S went to Long Beach. For IMSA Prototype Series champ Rick Taylor drove the NSX at that Long Beach and got with, uh, at the Long Beach. And it is now the fastest road legal production car on California's Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach Circuit. <laughs> Uh, all right. That's you know something. Take your win where you can. <laughs> it's the fastest car on the Acura test track. Wow, that's nice. You know, I mean, but it looks nice going around that track, Ben. He went around it in one minute, 32.784 seconds. Three seconds faster than the previous holder in 2019, Peter Cunningham. Okay. So the NSX breaking records all over. It didn't exactly uh, break sales records when they released it like they hoped it would, but... That just makes it more rare. I think it's a fantastic looking car. It is a great looking car. It could be. There's just so many supercars. Yeah. It used to be like a few. I mean, this car, I mean, it... (laughs) I was looking into more of the actual technology of it serendipitously. Um, And even when you go down to brake, it knows just how to make the brake hold and really whip around the corner. And then take advantage of the suspension system and the throttle at the same time to make sure you maximize all the way through. It's a quick car. And you have your two electronic motors in the front, which are very much a part of that quick turning system. So when you take this thing around a track, it's going to whip around that like a fucking slingshot. Mm -hmm. It's really impressive when you look down into the technology that they put into this NSX. It's impressive, and it's a fantastic looker all around. Oh, yeah. It looks very stylish, very sexy. It's a great looking car. Just like you might think with this next story, Alpha is going to go Junior. Junior. Yes. The yes, Junior would drive that car. Stilevio? Sure. Stilevio Jun- GT Junior is what Alpha is putting up for yeah, a limited no, run Stilevio. version of the Stilevio. Paying homage to Alfa Romeos sold between the year 1965 and 1977. That's, that's really <sighs> bizarre and homage. Specific? Yeah, between 1965 and 1977. Everybody else Nothing get else. <laughs> Everybody else get fuck off. Like, no. normally, I think they'd, like, pick one vehicle. Yeah. Instead, we're, no. we're, we can't decide on one, so we're just going to everything and just keep fucking yeah. about. Yeah. Just keep fucking period. about. <laughs> well, it'll have 280 horsepower with a 2-liter gas engine or a 2.2-liter diesel with a 210-power Whore of horses on tap. Eight whore of horses and ten power wheels. whore of horses and squeaky wheels with all wheel drive, eight speed auto. Get it for about seventy three k pounds. So <laughs> more whore of horses. Two hundred. T- that's because it's a diesel. <laughs> that's how you get They're so loud many horses. Oh, that's the title of the fucking podcast right there. So, whew. Remember, <laughs> speaking of SUVs, do you remember when Toyota said, we're not going to bring the Land Cruiser to America? Oh, what did they do? 
They're not, but they're they are, but they're just gonna call it no, the they're Lexus. They're just gonna call LX. it Lexus. They're gonna call it something different. They're no, just gonna call the, it the Lexus. This is not a Land Cruiser. LX six hundred. They the said LX they won't sell it here in twenty twenty one, but don't yeah. get your get too excited yet. Yeah, it no. does have two screens inside, twelve point three and seven inch screen, twenty five speaker Mark Levitson audio system. Three different seating options, including down below, you have a picture of the ultra reclining seats with chilled leather. 3.4 liter twin oh. turbo V6, 409 oh, horsepower, oh, wow. not a V8 like last year. Oh, so you got that. Oh, actually. Whatever. It I does really look like nice. That. It really also has a three seat model yeah. with with not those seats. Yeah, no, but I re- I really like that. That look that looks look like you got your own little fucking aircon in the back. Your two mm-hmm. little screens. He can read his little Kindle there. Ten That's speed fucking automatic. nice. Yes, ten speed automatic, Ooh. and it gets fourteen miles per gallon. Woo! Adjustable ride height. And many, 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 many more luxury options. Yeah, which means it's not for me and you. No. At all. But Mainly because I drive like four miles to work and back. Yeah, and that's there's like nothing for you as the driver. It's yeah. for everybody else around you, and I, I don't see you buying one of these. SUV? No. No. Although, it depends on how bad my legs get that I might have to. Then you get a chauffeur. Boom. And you buy one of those. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to afford a and chauffeur. You get, then you get all driving. That driving is too much fun for a chauffeur. Yeah. Well, that's how you, that's how you bring them in. Like you get to drive all the back roads. Yes. Speaking of back roads, you might want to try driving the back roads on this one. But it's, it's not really... It's not a good segue. Yes, that was a horrible segue. You're right. (laughs) But it's not so many anymore. The Countryman is going to get far, far bigger. New front-wheel drive platform causes it to swell in size. It's about the size of a BMW X1. They say they're going to go for the interior design of a living room with wheels. Why is no engine question. options given? Yeah, no. Why? Yeah, is it's mm, it's um surrounded in. I was never happy with the mini. Surrounded in Perjanger judgment right now because why? Yeah, mm. I, 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 mm, you know, they had to make it bigger, especially if they're gonna uh, make it uh, battery powered. It would have to get much bigger for all those batteries. <sighs> it's just you I'll look you, at it and. Tell you what I hated the most about the mini. It it's it's the how the the center mm. speedometer. Yeah, driving isn't a communal experience. I'm driving, and you're sitting over here, and you're shutting the fuck up. That's what's happening. Praying. This isn't like it's what you do in the passenger seat. With this him. isn't like yeah. This is not praying. like we're not all driving together. No, you shut your mouth, and we'll be fine. You sit there, you pray, and you get your years worth of praying done in one visit. Pray. Just My done. driving is not that bad, but. The, what I hated about the Mini is more along the lines of the actual mechanics of it. Because they're a bitch to fucking work on. It's German. Of course exactly. It the, the fucking headlights and the grill, that's one piece. That goes up together. And then you have the engine underneath and everything. It's just so fucking weird to work on a Mini. I just I, I disapprove of all of them. Mm. Hmm. That's why they have these seamless little hoods right here because the body line goes around the fender and the whole fucking thing lifts up. It's just so dumb. Well, people love the look of it. I don't hate the look of it. I just I just can't work <sighs> with that interior. But you might be able to work with Hyundai. And you might be able to get one because they're totally tired of the chip shortage. We all knew it was going to happen, like many others that will follow. Hyundai announces plans to make their own semiconductor chips. They're going into the chip business. I mean, it was only a matter of time before somebody decided to fucking do that shit. Uh, the company says they want to be more self-reliant. I think this is fantastic, yeah. especially when cars are... 
it's such a premium nowadays. It's a very good but a very bold move on Hyundai's part. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate Hyundai for that. It is. More people will will be doing it. And more chips oh, means yeah. more cars. But I appreciate that Hyundai is one of the first people that we're hearing about doing this. Is that Hyundai's like, no, I'm fucking making my own goddamn chips, man. Mm -hmm. Fuck this shit. That's not happening to me again. They're learning and they're improving. It's that whole kind of, you know, different car culture that they have in the in the eastern region that really makes a, a solid product. I'm a huge fan of eastern cars. So yeah. it really makes sense and it's a bold move and I, I my hat's off to you. Which means Hyundai and Kia will have no problems getting them. Yeah. I mean that is once they build the plant and yes, make the chips and design a chip or So it's a little while away. You know what else is a little while away? Mitsubishi's stopping all cars. Oh. But they do plan on stopping. They're not going to develop any more platform cars. Instead, they have a plan. Ugh. But anyway, plan. Mitsubishi's plan is to rebadge a Nissan for Japan. Oh. As for yeah. Europe, y'all getting oh. Renaults. Oh, well, that's fine. Rebadged, yeah, and like they're going to engineer them a little bit. It looks like so it for might Japan. be better. <laughs> You're going to get a rebadged Renault or what? Nissan if you want a Mitsubishi. That's kind of disappointing. Yeah. I, I would mean, expect, I'll, like, I don't that, know. You couldn't tell me that more. is. And if you took off the badge of that, it would well, look like a dozen different other SUVs. Most SUVs look the same to me. I mean, yeah. boxy shape. You know, I, I mean, the, the ones that do look different, I would say I'm very biased is Mazdas because they're all, they're like curvier. Yeah curvier all around where that's just sort yeah. of another box but that, you, you get into that in the premium vehicle territories to where it's very curvy it's very luxury luxurious there's a lot more standard features in that mm -hmm. to where that's more the appeal in the premium sector that you know i have found with acura and mazda i've noticed is right along that same kind of ilk and uh mitsu is it's um I've always known Mitsubishi for well, they make everything under the sun. They make airplanes yeah. and oh, yeah, yeah. and they make everything. So cars are just one of those things, but I've most known them the for hobby? the big rally back in the day with yeah. the rally. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, battle yeah. with Subaru. Yeah. Man, that was the shit. But they stopped making the Lancer Evo. I know, it's so disappointing. But it's okay. I, the mid, the it's, WRX SDI turned into the Evo when they're gone. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay because Lambo has an answer in this next story. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, yes, you can't wait. You're going to want one. Lamborghini is getting into the new world of golf carts. We've all seen the Cadillac. But I like the next one. Go to the next one. Ah! <laughs> Speed. Razor X is your brother. Lamborghini is going to start making golf carts coming soon <laughs> yes. to a golf course near you. You yes, could get one. a Lamborghini golf cart. At first, I saw the Cadillac and I was like, well, that's just retard. Oh my God, it's Speed they Racer! Cadillac, Bentley, and uh, all sorts of special ones. Lamborghini is partnering with uh, Kinetic Green JV. It will be designed in Italy and with made in India. Uh, all right. And then shipped all over the world to golf courses everywhere. Can you imagine that? I want that as a golf legendary cart. Lambo styling as your favorite golf cart. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's awesome. Is bringing a little automotive lug nut style to the golf course. I still have to ask why. Why not? Fair enough, I guess. Uh, it's, it's it's golf, from what I hear. It takes up a bit of your time. And yeah, it's but really you can't fit a golf, a golf club uh, or a, it's got a, a golf bag in there. Where where are you going to fit, fit a golf bag in that trunk? That's not a I, Nissan I have, Z. I have no idea, but 
You know, I mean, maybe in the Cadillac. Yeah, the Cadillac like, is a golf cart that's made. Yeah, the yeah, other one that, is that. just really for show. Okay, I'll go with that. I would I'll say. I'll go with that then. The other one's for actual golf. Yeah, that that's the ugly. does look comfy, but though. It looks, it looks like, like it, a golf cart. Well, yeah, but it looks, it looks like, like a Cadillac. Cadillac. Yes. Yeah. But more importantly, are you ready to get twizzy with it? I don't know. Renault style. Let's get twizzy with it. Here it uh, is, Oakley Design. They made an F1 concept that can't be beat from Renault 2012. Twizzy. Oh, there's d more detailed photos below. The side mirrors are from a 2015 F1 car. Did doesn't Jezza look, make this? Doesn't that look, No, this is way better than he could possibly do. The James May? The center lock is magnesium, and the magnesium wheels come from a Formula One car as well. Magnesium wheels, top speed, 60 miles an hour. You can collect this cars on collecting cars for a little above 20K. Well, that's not bad. If you look at the front spoiler, if you go below, there's a the front spoiler they show you. You can the, see it a little bit. Look at the, that front spoiler. Car, Is that awesome? I know it's only a Renault, but look at that. That's a cool looking Renault. Go back, go back up. You I can just, see the story, just, the photos on road and track. It's got a front <laughs> spoiler. Right. Not that it's going to need all it right. at 60 miles an hour. Go up a little more. I, I need to process this. So. Okay. All right. I'm looking at the picture that doesn't look bad. The, the front spoiler. Yeah, the front I know, spoiler. Like, I know. It's, it's okay. It's, it's, it's okay, something. Like I'm fine. So then Magnesium we go here. I, it does. I don't mind the back you end see of the that spoiler look. on the back. Yeah, I don't mind the back. I don't mind that look. That back end, the spoiler right here. <laughs> even Well, that... This is what just looks fucking ridiculous about it. It's built for speed, my friend. I just... I, it, it, you couldn't think of anything else more aerodynamic than that? Maybe it, you it just looks make it the same color? Too. It looks aerodynamic. No, it's to be edgy and real and with it. Uh, just they did the best weird. they could with a Renault. I'm trying it's a Renault. To. They're trying. <laughs> Oakley did what they could. It looks like they played way too much Red Faction Gorilla. Well, they are going to take this Red Faction Gorilla or even to Star the Citizen with track. that side door right there. It does. Right here, it looks like a Citizen beefed up kinda. Star Citizen that car that you drive around the uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, the the uh, or even the uh, uh, Cyberpunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That looks like something you can customize in Cyberpunk to make it look like that. I really, f it, 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 it's not to take away from it. It is very impressive that it has that. I think it's, it, as a one off, it top looks speed of 60. fantastic. Which is impressive for a Re Renault to get up to 60. You know what else is impressive? McLaren's naming scheme. McLaren's going to do something different in the McLaren world. Started it in 2011, they're going to abandon naming their cars after their favorite copy machine. Wow. No more alphanumeric naming. They have protected several names, so they have things in the works that they're not telling us. Okay. The Solus. Yeah. The A Arion. The Aeonic. A... Aeonic? No. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I'll the Solus, the Arion, and the Aeonic. What I mean, names? It's not the worst names ever. They it's did. I'm, I'm just glad it doesn't sound like you're talking about a planet in space like it's Neil deGrasse Tyson. Like, well, AX7948 is different than Alpha BF274G. Don't give me that shit. Yes. Give give Mr. Crusher, take us to Solus 7. <laughs> you know, Solus. There we go. Now I have a name. Give me a name, McLaren. I like that idea. I really do appreciate it. They did with that. the last one. They called the, the McLaren Senna a legendary name for a legendary driver. And how could you not like that name? Make it so. Absolutely. I love that they're not going to name it after their favorite copy machine anymore. Ah, I know, man. Fantastic It's, that, it's all just a very classy way. And then, I don't know, maybe you'll see the Hamilton come out of there. And with this next story, Aonic goes ironic no, with that Nissan. Would be, that would be ironic if they did Hamilton. Oh, wait for it, because here it comes. 
Nissan won an award. The Pathfinder and the Frontier won, a, won an award at the Miami International Auto Show. They picked up a pair of Sober Reudas Awards at the International Auto Show in Miami to qualify. It must be on the market before the last day of the year. Well, I'm very it proud must they're sober. Have proven quality standards, and it must be incredibly popular in the Hispanic and Latino community. And it must have good money for value. That's a very specific award. It's a very bizarre name that I probably didn't pronounce right. Sobre, hang on, go up. Let me try it. It's uh, the Sobre Redas Awards. Yes, it was on Saturday. Reudas. So at brave, the Reudas. International Auto Show of Miami. Cat would be proud. Must have proven quality standards and popular amongst Hispanics and Latinos. Must provide good value to money. It was selected by Hispanics uh, from the community, journalists, and the automotive industry. I mean, a lot of people loved the old body style of the Pathfinder. And I remember when they first came out. The Frontier was another body style, which the, with the old age didn't, truck frame. You didn't know? the uh, original Pathfinder? They had those uh, waterproof seats. Yeah, man. They had that that like that uh, people love bizarre them. rack on the top. Even for, like, Uncle Bud, he loves his Pathfinder, like that old loved. Pathfinder. The uh, the new body Ooh, style yeah. to where you have this to where it's like. I don't know, like a, a mom minivan. It know? looks exactly like the last SUV we covered. Unibody but. frames aren't the end of the off-road vehicle, but it doesn't the have thing the is, same feel. Here's the thing. If you don't have a unibody frame, you shouldn't. It, you, if you have a unibody frame, you shouldn't really be towing. It's not for towing. It's for well, safety. The uni, the thing with the unibody frame is it, it is. protects you on the inside. But if you want to use your SUV for towing, don't get that. Get one of those uh, open bed SUVs well, that you they can get call up to, trucks. You can get up to like 75, maybe like 800 pound towing um, Here's the accessories, mm. which are... You are adding on an access an accessory, uh, like cooler for they do the, the transmission, so that way you're cooling it off again because of all the load. The switch between unibody frame and traditional um, rail type frame, it's it the safety numbers are dramatic. It's they're way safer because like old style pickup trucks without the unibody frame, they're kind of death traps for everybody. Well, people yeah. in the car with an accident, people outside the car with an accident. Yeah. The only thing that's more dangerous is a sports car, but that's only dangerous for the guy inside because you wrap it around a tree or something. But you stupid. bought it for that. Yeah, you bought it to kill yourself and wrap yourself around a tree. <laughs> you but knew. it'll be so much fun for those two minutes before you hit the tree. It yeah. won't be fun after that. It won't be. You may not, never not walk Not so again. much. Not so much. But you could go right over to PJANDWH and tell us about the show. I'd love to hear from you. You hop on over right here to the Contact Us page Could and you leave shut us... shut the damn squeaky wheel the fuck off? Sorry. <laughs> you hop over to the Contact Us page and you leave us your name, your email, your message. Find us on all social media handles. And do you have a luggy and nutty car that you want us to talk about? Do yes. you want to be on the podcast? I Either really do. Either lug nuts or tri -far tri Yeah. Would you like to be on the Trifarts podcast? <laughs> it's a very smelly podcast, but it doesn't mind it. But it's okay because it's a podcast. So, yeah. We'll you can't smell it. It's just fun. Um, but it doesn't matter if you have the Trifarts or the Triforce. Nothing rolls without lug nuts. We'll see you next week, gang. Until then, drive on!
Drive on lug Drive on, gang. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Play on the tangers. That was a good segue. Our Island Kelly. <coughs> Microphone check. <coughs> One, two, three, and to the four. Snoop Doggy Dog may be watching. I mean, that's more plausible than Elon, I think. Probably not. <coughs> Snoop? Yeah, man, just fucking around on YouTube. Like, what the fuck is a pajanga? Hold on. I don't think so. Let me check out what a pajanga I, is. You, I love, I'd love for everyone to watch. <laughs> Especially Snoop. Because he's got some dope-ass fucking rides. Okay. Well, let's start the show. Dare I say luggy and nutty rides. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Which is a good segue, of course. That was a good segue. To hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribe right here. Best uh, per, per Jangers and Wall Hangers video for you is right above my head. And the best Lug Nuts playlist is right above Big Brother's head. And of course, as our main man Connor always says. Drive on Lug Nuts. Drive on, gang. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>